Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a range lookup using Pandas library. So if I'm working as a data analyst or any data related type of task that requires using Pandas, then knowing how to perform a range lookup is pretty important. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different examples on how to perform a range lookup using Pandas. Now let's look at example number one. So here I create a spreadsheet to simulate the uh, outcome. So in my Python script, I have two uh, data frame objects. So the first data frame object, which is this great look uh, uh, data frame object, is going to be used as my reference table. And this table is going to be identical to this table right here. So based on the scores, I want to assign different uh, letter grades. And the second data frame object, scores, are uh, basically uh, the table that I want to populate the letter grades. So here let me run this code block. Now if I print grade look uh, table, and it's going to be my reference table. And for the scores table, this is going to be the table that contains the score that I need to perform the lookup to. So to perform the range lookup, I'm going to use a numpy function called dot. If we look at the uh, description for this uh, numpy dot, dot function, this function will dot product of two arrays. And these are some of the information that I think can probably reach on your own. And I'll post the link in the description below. Now let's go back to the Python script. So the numpy dot, dot function takes two parameters, parameter A and parameter B. From the scores table, the test score column is going to contain the uh, values that I want to perform the lookup to. All right, so here let me reference the test score column. And I want to convert the values to values. Here if I print the statement, it's going to return as an array. Here I want to slice the data into a 2D array. So I'm going to insert column. All by now. Now if I print the statement, now if we look at the scores, they now represent their individual entity. Basically I want to write condition to compare each score against uh, these two columns from the gray lookout table. And to compare the score, I can create two different groups. So this is going to be group number one or my first criteria. So I want to look against the gray lookout table. I want to compare the uh, scores from the found column dot values. Here we don't need to convert the uh, values array into a 2D array. So we can simply just type uh, grade lookup followed by the field name dot values. And it's going to be my first condition. It's going to be if the uh, test score is greater or equals to the uh, found value. And if I want to uh, add another condition, here I'm going to insert an ampersand symbol. Then I want to insert another group. And it's going to be my second criteria. So I want to grab uh, this thing right here. I want to change the comparison operator to last thing. And I'll grab this statement. And I'll change the field from from to two. Now I want to wrap uh, these two conditions with the uh, numpy dots function. So this is going to be my first condition, second condition. And with these two conditions, we're actually creating a, a range lookup and followed by the uh, field that you want to return. And I want to return this uh, grade field. So I'm going to copy uh, this statement and paste. I want to change the field name to the uh, field that I want to return as my results. Now if I run this function, I'm going to get an array object. Inside this array object, it's going to contain the letter grades that I want to assign to each student. Now what I can do is I can create a new column. And I'll name this column letter grade. Now if I run this code and print the uh, scores table again, 
Now for my table, based on the test score, I now have the letter grade assigned to each individual test score. Now let's look at a different example. So the second example is actually a more realistic example that you're more likely to see in the uh, real world scenario. All right, so here I have a list of uh, orders. And based on the purchase date, the company will uh, ship the, uh, the product or the order based on uh, this day range. So for example, uh, for the first order, assuming that the customer uh, make the purchase on December 1st, 2021, and based on uh, this uh, lookout table or delivery schedule table, the shipment is going to be estimated to deliver on January 6, 2022. All right, so here let's do this. I'm going to go to my example number two, and here I'll run uh, this code block. I'm going to print the delivery schedules table. So this table is going to be my lookout reference. Now I want to print the oldest table. All right, so from the oldest table, I have my dates in the purchase date column. And I want to populate the uh, delivery on dates um, to the, uh, this delivery dates column. All right, so from the same practice, I'm going to grab this code block and I'll just make a copy. So if you want, you can actually uh, use this as your code snippet for uh, future reference. So here I'm going to change the uh, scores table to orders. I want to change the uh, field to delivery date. And from the uh, lookout table, we have first day and last day. And it's going to be delivery schedules. Oh, I made a mistake. So this should be... So the first day uh, field should go into delivery schedules. And this will be last day. And this will be a uh, purchase date, purchase date. And I want to turn the uh, dates from to delivery on field. And here I want to change this uh, operator to less than or equals to. Now if I run this statement, and if I print the uh, orders table again, now, based on the purchase date, I now have the uh, delivery dates populated. So, this is something to share in this video. And hopefully, you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.